Hey guys, today we are going to do some dungeons and I will show you a very good build. I think it's actually the best build that you can use in dungeons. We are going to do tier 8 dungeons, but you can also do like tier 5, tier 6, any dungeon at all. So just for the sake of it, I'm going to take tier 5.2, because this is what like everyone should be able to use pretty quickly. Um, this is a great tax build. If you can't afford tier 5.1, just use tier uh, tier 5.2. Just use tier 5.1. That's ju just fine. I'm going to use tier 5.2 because I am rich. So it involves getting a great tax first and foremost. Actually, I'm going to wear like I'm going to get a tier 6 because I like the. Let's go tier 6. And point one, great X. And just get one of those because I like this, and this is not available on tier five. Anyway, so a great X, tier six point one, and then you can just like get tier five point two. So stalker jacket. No, oh, I have one on the market. Then I'm gonna take it down. So stalker jacket, cowl, so scholar cowl. Well, I had one also from earlier. So scholar cowl and any shoes, literally any shoes. If you want assassin, just do assassin. If you want like Helion, whatever you want. I'm just gonna take like stalker shoes so I can level them up. And use the second passive refreshing sprint. That's what you always use. Now let's get also. Uh, um, okay, so now I need 4.2 Ted Ford Cape. So just get the 4.2 Ted Ford Cape. That's fine. And the 4.2 bag. Or for 4 even tier 4. It's fine. Okay, for the food. There is no other food that you should get except the roast pork. So always wear roast pork in dungeons. Always, always, always. It's the best food overall. Don't use that health regeneration thing. I, it's really useless against bosses that gets hard. So don't use it. Use roast pork always and always tier 7. If you can afford it. If you can't afford it, like do tier 5. That should be like pork. Just oh, there's no pork. Roast. Oh yeah, it's roast goose. So roast goose is much cheaper than tier seven if you can't afford it. But I would suggest if you can afford it, just get roast pork and of course some poison. Not there. So poison, just get 10, 20, I usually get 20 just to make sure I have them around. If you are really poor, just don't use them, you don't need them for this build. Also, this build also works as a tier 5 or tier 4.1, even tier 4, if you want to end up with a normal cape. But you absolutely need this food, so get roast pork or roast goose, you absolutely need it in dungeon. Don't go anywhere without it. Let's sell this X. And you can just use like a tier 5 or tier 4 riding horse. So I'll just get a tier 5. Okay, now let's get some maps. Let's get a tier 8 map actually. You, you can also do like tier 7, tier 6. If you can't do tier 8. So I recommend you do it like this. You, you start with tier 5 map, if you can do that easily, you get a tier 6 map, if you do that easily, you get a tier 7 map, and so on, until you get to tier 8, and you always want to go to tier 8, so I'll get two maps, just, to, just, just get one, I just get two, because I don't care if I die with it, so now we are going to use this map in Marlock portal, because if we do that, it will open a map in one of these zones. 
it's one of the nearby zones even if it's tier 8 so we're going to use this map and we're going to go to Windgrass Rail because that's where the map pop out, popped out always take the shrine so you'll be invisible you don't want to get ganked along, around, along the way and there's the map you are invisible so you are safe no need to worry about anything so far the only thing you need to worry is getting dived when you are getting inside of the dungeon of course so it's anyway we got to the dungeon it will always have like sparkling things around it so when you get to the dungeon be sure that there is no one around you no one is around you and then use it because you become visible right now you are inside of the dungeon and you i highly recommend that you wait 90 seconds so the best way to do that is i found out is to just use the logout so you just use the logout to count down 90 seconds <coughs> because I usually I use the stopwatch before until I actually realized that it takes a long time to log out. So always stay near when you are logging out and when you are waiting for the dungeon to close. Right? You need 90 seconds. So when it gets to 210, we are safe to go and to do the dungeon but so far just bear along with me you can skip ahead to the 210 if you want also be aware of this so you have a bubble right you, you can again a spawn buff again so if you get invaded try to wait around until that gets so if i got invite, invaded now i would be able to go out and just press a and leave because I would have a bubble but if you don't have a bubble usually people will just wait around outside and when you get outside you will just get killed so it's a risk you got to take just think for yourself and do whatever you think it's best but if you can wait around just wait for around for the bubble so you will have a bubble okay now we are saved, the dun dungeon closed, I won't show that, because I would lose the map. Just trust me that it closed, now I ate my food, so roast pork. It restores 10% of my damage as health. Oh, I didn't choose my abilities apparently. So I'm just using like, Rending Rage and Adrenaline Boost. And the po Poison one. Okay, let's go ahead and kill something. I hope we get some good drops. So the reason I'm using this is, oops, because it increases my all my attack speed, my movement speed, and also my damage. So you can just let me let it reset a bit. So you can just press it and then press the wind spin to kill everything around you with 25% increased damage you can press the armor so like starker armor is very good in, in around here because you kill a lot of mobs and you can also use refreshing sprint, sprint to get your abilities back faster because it regenerates them much faster as you probably seen if you haven't you will see in a bit and funny enough it also regenerates refreshing sprint, sprint much faster so when you when you are using refreshing sprint you are like refreshing your sprint you are refreshing your refreshing sprint much faster which is nice 
So I can press that, I press there, I press E, and I just melt everything around. And when I'm low mana, you just press the energy shield to regenerate mana. As you can see, I maxed mana left right now. Also, keep in mind that this is a like 8.1 dungeon, so the mobs are really, really hard. If you would do like a tier 7 or tier 6, you would like melt the mobs with only one wind, whirlwind. So, again, buff up, use the wind spin, use the armor, use the helm, so you can regenerate your mana faster. Oh, I got hit quite better. The only bad thing is that you need to wait around to regenerate, so if you get too low. But again, it's an 8.1 dungeon, and I'm wearing like 6.1, so tier 7 max. So just use, use your abilities as often as you can. Just the moment they are off the cooldown, just use them. You have basically infinite mana and what you need to focus on is to clear as fast as you can. And you just kill her. Oh, I jumped so bad there. So bad. Anyway, as you can see, I'm constantly healing while I'm fighting. And this is very especially important when you are fighting a boss. Oh, is this a big boss? Big chest? Or is it a blue chest? I have no idea. I think it's a blue chest, but let's see. Anyway, as you can see, my, my health doesn't really go down, because I heal very fast. So... What kind of chest is that? I guess there were some changes in Albion. Haven't played in a while. Okay, so... It's, it's uh, better to like use poison before you are doing the wind spin and the armor the electric field. I've done it wrong this time, but I will show you how to do it right next time. It doesn't matter, matter really because you are going to kill the boss. Also use your adrenaline boost as often as possible in auto attack, because you attack very fastly. So yeah, it's a blue chest, a bad blue chest. So refreshing sprint, you can also use the adrenaline boost to run faster which speeds the, makes the dungeon more speedy, so you are doing it faster. Again, just use your abilities. The moment the cooldown is off, use it. Okay. So adrenaline boost and auto attack, it deals a lot of, sing a lot of single damage single mob damage which is pretty nice we are melting everything very fast no shrine there apparently so again bam bam there's really nothing better than adrenaline boost on axes I mean not even this, you are going to deal more, more damage with auto-attacking. So W, R, E. That's how the combo should go. W, R, E. When you have a lot of mobs, you want to kill at the same time. Let's kill this dude fast. Oh, 
refreshing sprint r e melt 